Alright guys, some, some changes to my computer system. Uh, not very major, but you know, or actually some major changes. First of all, I want to point out that that radio now has a push-pull configuration, and this is because my old Neptune 240M uh, died. The pump stopped working on it, so my computer overheated, almost killed my CPU. Thank God I didn't do it. Uh, it actually got to the boiling boiling point of that water cooler, which is weird because the CPU will actually shut down the computer when it gets to that certain temperature, but it didn't, so I got to it before that, and um, well, it didn't I could hear it in the water cooler afterwards, that was hot, to say right. So I made it, and I kept the fans because they said that, uh, well, you don't need to set in, set in the whole thing because it's just more shipping. So I kept the fans, and now I got, well, two pairs of the Silencio fans, which are excellent fans. So now I got push-pull configurations, which lowers the radiator down to the case, which I actually love because now I actually can see the name of the radiator a lot more easier. Easier. Also, I changed the orientation of the water cooler, so the piping is now at the back. Uh, thankfully, not hitting that fan, so it's uh, it's a much cleaner run because there are now straight pipes. Uh, straight pipes. <laughs> car humor uh, so they're not coming down coming down here one like kind of bent and the other one is like a ni nice line so so there you go looks a lot better and here we got something new I never had a Strix car did I well now I have this is the Asus Radeon R9 390 Strix from Asus which of course has the automatically stopping fans well that one is now running because the card will heat up it has to have some cooling. And there's my old R9 290, and yes, it is actually cross-fired. You can see that by the fan not running. Because uh, AMD has the, um, what is it called, the zero, zero something technology that turns, on, uh, turns off the cards that are not in use, and since this is the one outputs to the monitors, it's the one that is in use. So yeah, rest. It's a 32 gigs of RAM. CPU has to be re-overclocked to the to, to the original specifications that it was earlier, uh, because when I installed the Intel cool around here, which is uh, well, uh, this thing. Uh, this is actually an LGA 2011 V3 cooler. Uh, you can see that by it's a slightly bigger uh, heatsink. Uh, well, my CPU he overheated with this one uh, running, uh, or it doesn't overheat, it actually thermal throttled uh, with this on. I'm going to overclock to 4.4 or 4.5 gears, sorry about that. So this thing couldn't keep it uh, keep it cool, so I had to downclock it to 4 gigahertz, and there it was actually stable with this heatsink, so that was no problem at all. It was hot though, it was very hot. Uh, thankful to have a great ventilation in the case, so it actually helps. Um, the, those other chassis fans uh, help keeping the rest of the computer cool. Man, this camera here. Come on, autofocus. There you go. Well, some somewhat. Uh, running a custom firmware on this camera because you know, 650D is starting to get a little old. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, rest of the system is pretty much the same not a big change. I have to do something with the fan profile because the fans aren't spinning or are hardly spinning down here so that one is like almost alive that thing is dead because it doesn't get enough voltage uh. ah, come on. Oh. There we go. those things are hardly spinning and those require a little more amperage to run Yes, and that's a new keyboard. I got myself a mechanical keyboard. This is something you probably won't be able to buy where you live, because this is from a Nordic store. It's actually the the company or name is called Exibel, Exibel, or something like that. Uh, so uh, uh, it's a mechanical keyboard with brown switches, as you can hear, or as you can. Could maybe see if this camera just wanted to focus on this. Come on, see what I mean? This uh, camera is uh, uh, 
All right, so let's do it manual. Oh, there you see it's brown switches. So, how to differentiate these from red switches? Well, feel the tactile because these stops right here and then it keeps going. That's like a click in between, but it's but it's quiet. But the red, red and uh, red and um, browns uh, sound almost the same. So it has like some different profiles and stuff. So you can just like do this here, gaming profile like this, and you have this tactile thing that Course Hero always loves to use. And of course you have brightness adjustments. So yeah, works fine. And still my trusty G9X because why not? Still works. But uh, that's pretty much it for what my camera can do, so that's a quick update on what my computer system is like at the moment and what has been done to it. I will probably make a new video uh, before we go to the gathering in March, so stay tuned for that. And many videos from the gathering, so yeah, stay tuned. So thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time in the next video.